Good morning, kids. Today we will be learning about physical education. Are you ready? Good. Before anything else, let's first have a review on what we discussed last meeting. All right. What is a locomotor movement? Very good. How about a non-locomotor movement? Okay, can you give me some examples of locomotor and non-locomotor movements? Great! Now for our topic today, we will be learning about body stillness and symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes using body parts. Are you ready to listen? Very good! Now, how is body stillness demonstrated? Body stillness can be shown using stunts in gymnastics. These stunts are in the form of play that needs strength, endurance, flexibility, and balance. Some dual stunts may show momentary stillness. This is shown using the other parts of the body aside from the feet as a base support. Now, when we say symmetrical shapes, it is when the body forms identical shapes on both sides. This kind of body shape shows balance. Let us try to look at some examples. Now, these are examples of body shapes that show asymmetrical, meaning they also show balance. Can you also do this, kids? Okay, let's try doing it. Very good. Now, when we say asymmetrical shapes, these are shapes when the body forms two different shapes on both sides and also it shows uneven balance. This is what asymmetrical body shapes look like. See, the other parts of the body are not balanced. Now, Let's try to do this kind of activities that show asymmetrical and symmetrical shapes. The first activity is Chinese get up, get up, back to back. Are you ready? Okay, very good. Now, how do we do this? First, you have to look for a partner with the same height as you are. It can be your sibling. It can be your friend. Next, Sit down in back-to-back -back position and hook each other's arm in a long sitting position. And next, stand up carefully without falling to show your momentary stillness. Okay, try to do it. Come on. Good. Now, another activity is what we call wheelbarrow. Now, how to do this kind of activity? First, lie down facing the floor. Then let your partner hold the lower part of your legs. Your partner can stand in between your legs. Then slowly let your partner lift up your legs. You should carefully maintain your balance without falling to show your momentary stillness. Okay, try to do it now. Wow, very good. Now, aside from doing this kind of activities, our body should also maintain the correct body posture. When we say posture, it is the position in which you hold your entire body whether you are standing, sitting, or lying down. To have a good posture, you need to be conscious of always holding yourself in a way that puts the least strain on your back. Whatever you are doing, be it standing, sitting, walking, or other locomotor activities. Now, what is the proper body posture in standing and sitting positions? To stand is actually very easy to do, but to do it properly is another thing. To have a good posture when you stand also needs practice. It will help a lot if you do this facing a big mirror where you can see your whole body. Now here are the proper ways for you to stand. First, hold your head up and chin in. Look straight ahead. Next, put your shoulders back. Tuck your tummy in. 
Keep your knees straight. Take a deep breath and relax your shoulders. Keep your chest forward. Did you try doing it? Great! Now this is an example of a girl that shows a good body posture when standing. See? Can you also do this? Very good. Now here is another picture that shows poor posture and good posture. Do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now another thing is sitting, which is a very easy to do. You do it inside the classroom when you watch movies with your family and when you go to restaurants after. Now here are the proper ways of sitting. First, always keep your back straight. Put your back against the backrest of your chair. Make sure your knee forms a right angle. And flatten your feet on the floor. Now, this is the proper way of sitting. I hope that you do what the boy in the right does. Okay? Great! Now, can you tell something about the drawing on the right showing the proper ways to sit? Very good. I hope you learned from this short video. Next, we are going to do practice exercises. Are you ready to do it? Very good.